My uh, next guest tonight is a NASA astronaut, and I'm thinking, he is slumming it here. <laughs> He's featured in the new IMAX film, uh, The Hubble 3D, which is in theaters March the 19th. Take a look at this. Four stories underwater, there's an entire shuttle cargo bay and a life-size model of Hubble. Motion to stop. Stand. Okay. Yeah, the big thing about this telescope is it can point really, really accurately and hold its position, and it's the gyros, the R shoes that allow you to do that. But they're in a tough spot. I'm used to being cramped as a larger person. I always had hand-me-downs from my brother who was a little shorter, so I'm used to having to fit into smaller areas. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Please welcome Mike Massimino, everybody. Mike Massimino. Welcome back, Mike. It's good to see you again. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me back. No, it's, I'm always you. happy to see someone who's actually got a college degree on the show. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a big deal for us when we get someone brainy. I hope I don't disappoint you. No, I didn't you... know this was going to be a test. No, no, it's not uh, a test. Uh, it's not a test. We're just interested in what good. you're doing at NASA. These good, Have good. you been back up since you were No, I've, I've been on Earth. This is the right. last time I've, I've stayed on Earth. I haven't been back up. What about hallucinogenic drugs? That's often a way to... Uh... I haven't tried that. No, no. No, I've just been hanging around and uh, trying to deal with uh, what's going on here on Earth. Now, what's, uh, that's you training in that big uh, yeah, underwater... Yeah. Um... It's a gigantic pool that we train to get ready for our spacewalks. Right. And it's, it's really big. It's 200 feet long. Right. It's 100 feet wide, and it's 40 feet deep. It's like a, it's like a big lake. It is, it's yeah. Big, and we can fit a whole uh, space station and a shuttle and a telescope model you don't in there wanna, as well. You don't want to put that in there. All the wires will get shorted out. You'll ruin the damn thing. Ah, yeah, it's very, very good. Yeah, no, we, uh, we have all the stuff that we use that has power in right. it. Like, you know, it has to be battery powered and it has to be contained so that it won't, it won't short out. And, it, and you've, you know, you've been in space. Tough, yes. Right. It, yeah. Is it like space and being in this thing? It, it is. You know, it, it gets you ready for your job that you're going to do. Right. It, everything, working with your tools, how you're going to work the choreography with your partner. Choreography? And, choreography. I love it. That's I what we call it. One single organization. <laughs> Beep. And that's fantastic. There's no singing, though. No, right. They don't let us sing. But yeah, we call it choreography because that's what you kind of do when you're planning out each move and every that's move. That's adorable. Yeah, do you think? Yeah. I, never, I never looked at it that way, but I guess it could. No. But, we try, but we, every little move has to be planned out, and so we practice that. And you're ready for that when you get to when you get to space. You know, you you feel very comfortable with. It. When I went to the telescope the first time and worked right. on it. I, I, I remember closing a door of a, a, I changed out a reaction wheel, a thing that spins and points a telescope. I know what a reaction you know the, wheel is. You know, Do I look stupid that's, to you? That'll be part of the test. Yeah. But as I'm closing the door, Craig, yeah. I, I said, I went through my, you know, it's the first time you've ever seen that, for real. But I practiced so many times in the water, you know, I felt like I had done it but before. It feels, like, yes. But the thing you're not prepared for is the view around you. Oh, yeah. Because that's just, there's no way to replicate the beauty of the earth in the background as you're doing your that's work. That's pretty nice. The stuff yeah. you get to see. Oh, so that's lovely. It prepares you for part of it, but not for the whole experience. Does it mess with your mind when you come back? Like, you know, do you kind of look up the space and go, oh, God, I'm so bored here with gravity? I actually. Now, <laughs> gravity is the word. Gravity is the word of the day. Yes. We've thrown it out. But Gravi it's, uh, yeah. gravi and gravity can gravity trick died, you. Gravity died, actually. You know, you get used to not having gravity yeah. around when you're in space. Everything floats. It makes it easier. One time, when I got, one of the first times I got home, I went to the grocery store. I come back to pick up the, uh, you know, the, my, my grocery bag, and I go and I let go, and I think it's going to float oh. and crash. Can you imagine? I can not imagine yeah. that. Is yeah. that what you said to them at the time? That's, yeah. That was the excuse I yeah. used. I just come back from space. I just got back from space. It's not mine. It's not mine. I, that's right. I had a couple of drinks on my way home from that's space. Right. Yeah. Wow. So you can use that. You can use that as an excuse. That, that's yeah. And did your your muscle tone or does it all? I wasn't. I'm only up for for two weeks, so it's not uh, it's not that bad. You know, you feel. You actually, when you get back, you feel like a little off balance. Things seem a little heavier to you. But after a few hours, you feel you feel much better. Just a couple hours. Just a couple hours. But what still, about, what about sleeping in zero gravity? Oh, that, that's that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Because yeah. what you're doing, you're, you're inside of a sleeping bag, and right. we, we tie up the sleeping bag. We have little little hooks, so you don't right. you don't want to be getting in your sleeping bag and knocking into people or banging your head waking up. So no, no you'd be like, oh, sorry, I floated over to your bunk. That would right, be bad. Exactly. Yeah. I want to be good. I want to be good. So you got yeah. You want to stay in one space, right. you know, and make sure you know everybody is. Right. And, know, you, and you then if you get that. surprised, you know, you know, something else is going on. So, right. Okay. So you get in, you get in your little. It's a, you know, it's a mistake. Right, you okay. get inside your little. Uh, you get inside your little sleeping bag, and you tie down, mm -hmm. and you have. Uh, you actually have a pillow 
behind you, but your head floats up, right? So what we do is we actually put a piece of cloth that keeps your head against the pillow. It Velcros to the back. Right. It sounds uncomfortable, right? It sounds. Is nuts. there a safety word? No, it's, it's just it's just it just it just keeps your head because we're so used to having a pillow right. behind our head. It, it, uh, and it, so it holds you down. Just holds your head. Have you ever tried sleeping pillow. without your head held down? Uh, it, it's a little uncomfortable, believe because yeah, we're really. so used to having a pillow behind our head. Right. But once you get inside of the thing. You're just kind of laying there floating, and it's like a, a really cool waterbed. You're That's kinda, really nice. And what's, what's, great, going on with, what's, what's going on with, uh, with NASA now? Because the, the, these shuttle flights are coming to an end. Yeah, that's they? right. Just got, we only have uh, four of them left. That's very sad. It's going to finish up this uh, this fall, and then uh, the next uh, the next step, which will be concentrating on long duration space flight on the space station, uh, yeah. we'll be going up on a on a Soyuz uh, spacecraft. Russians? Russians? Are you going to uh, have to learn Russian? Uh, if you want to go, you have to learn Russian. Yeah. At oh, least have come a, they, on. Want you, they want you to have at least a rudimentary uh, knowledge. What of it. the hell happened well, to well, this country? Well, think about it. You want to? I mean, you want if you're flying on that spaceship, you want to yeah. be able to know where the exit sign is and that we kind of stuff. We should have our right? own damn spaceship. We can't be. Up there speaking well, Russian we're... space and space people speak with American accents, buddy. That's, That's right. the way it's always been. Well, I got, I got to agree with you. Yeah, I got to agree, agree with you. It makes me very upset. But when I, just because the shuttle's returning doesn't mean we're not going to have a spaceship. All right. It's gonna, we're going to be developing a, 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 new, a new spaceship as well. How it's going to happen, we're not exactly sure. The president and the Congress are going to try to figure that out. But well, you we'll, we'll no still, hold that. They, they, no, they, we'll they, they don't happens. do a lot of figuring yeah, out. Well, well, right we're, still gonna, we're still going to be uh, flying people into space. So. What about the, the old shuttles? Are they going to be up for sale? Uh, do, yeah, how much money you got? You wanna, can you fill one in here? Well, you know, I think... <laughs> They're going to put them in, uh, I think they're going to put them in museums. Right. They're not sure exactly where they're going to go, but they'll be put in museums. You'll so everyone can enjoy them. You'll be one in the I think. I, th I think that's probably a good one. And bet. Disneyland. That might be an idea. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not getting into the, to the sale. I think All it's right, you know, right. whoever, whoever come up with uh, are you, is, the right are, place. Will you go back to space now, do you think? I hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm available. I hope I get the chance again. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Is there a website you can go on? <laughs> is there a There's a... Yeah, it's not like a contest or a waiting list or anything. You just, you know, where you have a group of people and you kind of take your turn and, and uh, hopefully you get a chance to go again. So I've gone twice, so that's, right. uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's been nice. That's yeah, pretty glad, good. But I'd be happy to go again. But see the see Tubble, the, the Tubble Heliscope. The, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you actually, you can't actually look through it or anything, can you? No, people ask me all these questions right. about astronomy and stuff, and I'm like, I don't look through the telescope. Right, I only right. work on it, you know? But yeah, Because you could turn it to Brad and Angelina's or something like that. Just, right. just for a minute. You can, you, can kind of, you can kind of snoop around with that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, like, whoa, I yeah. can't believe, look at Courtney Cox. You know, yeah, I, no, no, there's, there's no, there's no eyepiece for us to look through on that thing. Right. But they, they get the, all the fancy pictures, all the data comes down and gets shipped down to the ground, and then the astronomers can look at that stuff no, on the ground. Oh, so. astronomers, those yeah. jerks. No, they're, they're, they're smart guys. They're smart oh, sorry, guys. I'm thinking of astrologers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I see by looking at the Hubble telescope, you're going to have a quite an unpleasant day. Yeah. 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 Hey, That's Mike, it's, it's, it's always good to see you. Thank, come back Thanks and see you soon, me. and I hope you get back uh, up to space. We'll soon. see what happens. All I right. Hope so too. Mike Massimino, everybody, we'll be right back.